Time to get the players out. Lane, kind of a little pooch kick there. Yeah, oh, that's going to go out of bounds, and that's going to be a flag. Excuse me, Aiden. first flag of the night. And they're throwing them from all angles. They are Aiden Larson. <laughs> <laughs> there is a scourge affecting high school football. A scourge that could not only threaten the very fabric of high school sports, but the foundation of athletic competition as we know it. And this scourge of monumental proportions is spotting the ball in the middle of the field after a free kick out of bounds. Okay, it's not much of a scourge, but I'm seeing it a lot. I mean a lot, a whole bunch. And not just in my state, but all over the country and in five, six, and seven man crews. Now there are only seven times when A may designate the spot from which the ball is put in play anywhere between the hash marks. Eight if you count the ride home on the bus. Four try, four kickoff, following a safety, following a fair catch, following an awarded fair catch, following a touchback, and for the start of each series using an overtime procedure. I think some officials think a free kick out of bounds is one of those seven times when A may designate the spot from which the ball is put in play anywhere between the hash marks. And like we usually do on those occasions, say a touchback or a try, we just put the ball in the middle of the field unless, of course, a request is made. The middle of the field is like our default spot. But a free kick out of bounds is not one of those times. When the ball becomes dead in a side zone or is awarded to a team or is left there by penalty, which it is on a free kick out of bounds, play is resumed at the nearest hash mark, not the middle of the field. Listen, spotting the ball incorrectly on a free kick out of bounds isn't the end of the world. If that's the worst thing an official does in the game, they probably had a good game. But it is in the rule book and it is wrong. So the big takeaway from this video is don't spot the ball incorrectly. Hey, no one ever said these videos had to be profound or anything. Here's an example of a crew nearly getting it right, but ultimately getting it wrong. Just like my third marriage. hey -o! We have a free kick out of bounds, and for some reason, the umpire moves the ball from the hash, the right spot, to the middle of the field, the wrong spot. I wonder if this was done on his own volition or as a response to a request from the offense. Unfortunately, it's a mystery we'll never unravel. Here's an example of a crew getting it right. The free kick goes out of bounds. The crew makes sure the coach doesn't want to re-kick. Man, I hate it when coaches want to re-kick. It takes so much time. And the umpire correctly spots the ball on the nearest hash. In doing so, this crew prevents the scourge from spreading any further. So thank you, crew. We really appreciate it. It's so hard to get scourge out of one's uniform. While we're talking about those times when a team may designate the spot from which the ball is to be put into play, we should probably remind everyone the team keeps the privilege if the down is to be replayed or a dead ball foul occurs. Where do you spot the ball on the free kick out of bounds? Have you ever spotted a crew spotting the ball incorrectly? Have you ever spotted a spotter who spotted another spotter spotting the ball incorrectly? Have you ever said a word too many times and it starts to sound weird? Spot? Spotted, spotter, spotty, weird. Please put your answers in the comments section below. If you're already a high school football official, have a great season. If you're not a high school football official, now is the perfect time to become one. Contact the Evergreen Football Officials Association and we'll help you make it happen. Until next time, we're the EFOA, making good officials better.